What's going on everybody? Eat all the birds. Today I would like to do a quick review of my US Army uh, military issue sleep system. Now you notice on the front of the old Jeep there I've got uh, a bunch of canvas from the 1960s. Now I have picked all this up piece by piece over the years for under 50 bucks. Now I've looked around you can still do that. You can still pick up everything I've got here for right around, I don't know if you can do it for under, but for right around 50, 60 bucks. Now, 60 bucks for an entire sleep system, uh, shelter, sleeping bag, pad, the whole, the whole thing. Uh, pretty good deal. And uh, this is my strategy. Of course, this always lives in the Jeep. I leave it in there all the time, along with the K-Bar knife and an ax and a few other things. This will save your butt. And what I mean by that is, now, if you, uh, if you choose to drive an old Jeep around like I do, what inevitably happens is you start hanging out with Jeep people. And when you start hanging out with Jeep people, you start spending time uh, in the desert as a group, sitting around a fire, uh, doing group projects like uh, building you know, beer can pyramids. Now, when that happens, I have to admit, some of those people will just jump in their Jeeps and drive home. Well, I set up this, climb into it, have a snooze, go home the next morning and uh, talk about saving your butt you don't want to end up in the pokey so th that's my strategy plus I really like it you know if I plan ahead and know I'm gonna spend the night out there throw a little food in the Jeep and it turns into a really nice night out so what do I got I got the ISO mat on the bottom military issue mummy bag on the right uh, that has a wool it's a kind of a bivy bag with a wool uh, mummy bag liner I got the army issued military half shelters, two of them. I'll show you how that is as a pup tent and as a half shelter here in a minute. And then I have the army issued rubberized canvas ground sheet. Uh, all awesome stuff by itself, but put together it turns into a pretty awesome, heavy, um, not 100% waterproof, but like I said, I live here in, the, uh, in central Arizona in the desert. And uh, pretty good stuff. So let me set it up as a pup tent show you what it looks like. Stay with me. Alright, so there's the two half shelters uh, together you know, in the pup tent configuration. I really only use this uh, on my bug out trailer. I've done a previous video about that. I'll, uh, I'll uh, attach it to this one in the comment section if you want to see it on the trailer. Now, I've used this in the snow, in the wet. Uh, of course, some of the new high-tech lightweight stuff is much, much better, but this does really, really good. Really not bad at all. Uh, you don't want to touch it when it's wet. You got to try to keep from from touching that canvas. But it it sheds the water very nice. If you uh, find a nice dryish piece of ground with that uh, rubberized ground sheet, you do pretty good. Now, when I don't have the trailer with me, you know I have done this before, but most of the time, I use one half of this shelter, and that makes it like a lean-to type thing. Now I'm going to show you that next. That is definitely my preferred, you know, sort of sort of shelter here for the desert because. I, that canvas gets pretty hot. Even when it's cool at night, when the sun comes up in the morning, uh, you have no choice but to get out of that canvas shelter because it starts it starts cooking you. So let me show you what that lean-to looks like and I'll show you the gear inside of it. I will be right back. All right, quick look at it opened up. Now I'm, uh, I'm six foot plus. You know, I sleep on one side of those poles there and I fit in there pretty good. You know, I keep both flaps closed usually. I don't usually leave it open. You can you, you can open it on both ends if you like, but I'd be sticking out on either side. So I, I either leave one end closed or both ends closed, and then I fit in there pretty good. You know, when you close them up, it extends it out about two feet. So it's it's really, you know, like an eight foot plus shelter lengthwise. It kind of tapers towards the middle, but like I said, over six foot tall, I fit in there just fine. So let me break it down, put it in the lean-to, my preferred method for, for sleeping on the ground in this thing. I'll show you what that looks like. Alright, there she is. Doesn't get much more simple than that. Uh, that's the way I prefer sleep. Well, I prefer sleeping in it set up on top of the bug out trailer, but when I don't have that with me, this is the way I like to do it. You know, here in the desert, you just want to keep the dew off you. Uh, the wind usually comes from one direction, you know, unless you're in the mountains. And uh, that little sleeping bag has always been enough for me, down to down to the mid 30s I tested it out to there always been fine I do I do have a wool blanket that I carry sometimes I throw over the top of me hardly ever use that so everybody thanks for joining me this little demonstration of my uh, you know cheap or affordable you know army surplus stuff from the 60s 
you know, still very, very good option for today. Not the best option, but uh, you really can't argue with the price. So like I said, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I enjoyed making it for you. Any questions or comments, please throw them in the bottom. I'd be happy to, to answer back, and I will see you guys later. Bye.